Pound Jar with you. Uh, today our subject is to talk about uh, photovoltaics. You specify your destination folder, okay? Double clicking on your model. Okay. Um, what we have here? Uh, this, this is a design model uh, to whom seeking a design aspects for uh, a specified load. Suppose you have a a house or a home and you are you your intention is to uh, power on your uh, your home uh, electrically by use the use of solar photovoltaics so you need to discover uh, design aspects before going to the markets and uh, uh, brought or buy uh, um, or to bring or to buy a photovoltaic system what is the desired area? Okay, suppose I need one kilowatt, two hundred kilowatts. What is the desired area? Because I, suppose I have a limited roof area on my home or something like this. Uh, what is the cell area? What is, what is the number of modules? What is uh, uh, the open uh, open circuit voltage? What is the efficiency of the total plant? All of these uh, inquiries. Uh, 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 we are going to uh, cover today okay we have to double clicking here on the mother block okay we have to choose between two uh, types of solar radiation suppose I am uh, going for watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square okay I, I, I would I would like to choose what per, what per meter square okay okay the second question is what is your total system power you are going to the, to your market and you need to to answer these questions uh, i need to deliver uh, for example um, uh, 500 oh, suppose it's uh, 2 megawatts i need 2000 kilowatts okay 2 megawatts uh, per uh, okay as a total power this is your total uh, power for what whatever your application uh, okay uh, regardless your application we need to discover it. okay you choose before uh, from the mother blocks we have we choose here uh, what per meter square so I have to go here and double click on, on what per meter square so we are going to run uh, or discover the result behind this block okay this is for kilowatt hour per meter square okay Operating hours, is it uh, all day operational uh, uh, hours or what What kind of your operating hours? Suppose I need 24 hours, number of cloudy days factors, okay? It's depending on your territory or your location, uh, okay? Suppose in, uh, I, I would choose this, okay, solar uh, flux what is your normal radiance in your location okay what is your average uh, you have to choose uh, based on your location okay suppose I am uh, for for winter operational operating conditions you can choose uh, uh, sure you have to build your uh, uh, your uh, design plan based, based on lower uh, solar flux in order to obtain larger area of course this will cost you much but uh, you have to uh, deliver uh, sufficient power to your system or to your application uh, suppose I'm going for uh, uh, 200 I would like to run this dynamically and see you the effect of solar addition on the area on and so on okay I hit apply for design what is your module types we have from five what module up to 280 uh, uh, 280 what uh, module suppose I'm going for uh, 100 an 80 type module okay okay battery depth of a charge okay uh, voltage per battery suppose I will give this uh, design elements okay battery efficiency okay and cost 
you, we can assign the cost per per you uh, per one battery. Okay, suppose I give this 100, 150 US dollar or something like this with your uh, location. Okay, going for photovoltaics, what per meter square? Okay, this is our uh, our plant. Okay, we need to discover open circuit voltage. Uh, in other um, uh, for performance photovoltaics models, uh, I, I made uh, a survey on uh, on the internet, and I found most of people are going to um, use the two uh, uh, assign these parameters: uh, short circuit current, open circuit voltage. In this model, we are going to calculate uh, such technique. But first of all, you have to assign or send your uh, streams to data inspector. So I have to uh, uh, check this and go in here and select stream selected signal to data inspector. I have to check this. Okay, maximum uh, voltage, sure. And uh, let's go here for maximum current okay and I, I have to assign solar radiation also in order to address its effect power module power you can also double click check from here okay uh, number of modules this is I have to check here and CL apply okay number of modules i need to discover all of these parameters okay and select here a number of batteries and a total plant costs okay uh, i have to stream selected efficiency module efficiency number of modules number of cells all of these are very important parameters and we have to uh, deal with okay so uh, our model is, is currently is ready for uh, operating for operational uh, process okay and okay now we have to uh, you if you run this dynamically Let's go. You can assign this for infinity. Suppose it's one uh, it's single uh, single point I, uh, run. I will run this one. I, I hit run and see our results. Okay, for two megawatts, based on our selection of uh, photovoltaic modules for batteries and for uh, watt per meter square. This is our results. Okay, let's check. Open circuit voltage is around um, 45. Short circuit current 8. Maximum voltage per, per module is around 36. Maximum uh, current. Okay. Okay. Number of modules we we need to use a huge amount of number of modules for two megawatts. Okay. Remember, this is two megawatts. Uh, this is cell area in centimeter square, okay? And we have here module area. This is our module area. It's, it's around uh, 5 meter, uh, 0.8. This is our total plant area, okay? Total plant area, okay? 6.4 exponential 4. And battery storage, what hour? Uh, battery uh, ampere hour, okay? number of batteries and uh, this is our cost 1.8 exponential 6 so and uh, we have here this is F of, uh, FOB price per module with net width per module and module dimension okay well, if this is module efficiency it's quite reason, uh, reasonable because it's around 16 or 15 uh, uh, percent of efficiency this is cell efficiency okay 
number of cell pyramid units around uh, 72 okay okay let's go dynamically uh, let's go dynamically suppose i need to set your simulation time into infinity okay uh, suppose i need to change some uh, elements uh, let's go here okay uh, i would like to change um, uh, yes going for this type okay i need to change some parameters here okay let's go for uh, let's uh, go inside first and doing this and hit run let's hit run and see okay i would like to increase uh, solar radiation increasing solar radiation uh, sure would decrease uh, the total area and uh, okay total system area is currently redu reducing in the reducing process okay up to uh, 1000 okay 1000 watt per meter square okay okay 1000 and just quite normal okay for uh, design suppose i need uh, 200 and 80 uh, module type okay 200 most efficient one uh, lower in price lower in uh, number of cells number of modules okay okay let's hit stop okay so let's see our effect of if we change it uh, solar radiation and module type okay uh, this is the change in module dimension because we change it as a module type uh, I think uh, FOB price has yes, changed what this is our uh, what and cell efficiency cell efficiency I think it's uh, the same and so also uh, the module efficiency I think both are in the same range okay let's go for uh, maximum current changing across uh, the run because of uh, the effect of uh, um, uh, solar radiation and uh, module type uh, this is um, cell area per module as you can see here changing in cell area because we uh, enhanced our uh, module type therefore the cell area decreased and also the effect of solar radiation is uh, present uh, strongly present uh, present here and module area sure the same okay and total system area should be decreased yes so uh, this is the effect of module type and solar radiation and suppose this is battery storage and uh, battery per hour based on battery hour yes total total pv costs let's see okay in, in decreased and decreased a number of cells per module uh, this is net weight number of uh, batteries uh, number of modules will decrease yes sure uh, maximum voltage okay so um, you can decide you can decide easily by uh, changing your op some operating conditions or your uh, suppose you are going to to the market and asking for a module type power uh, uh, the manufacturer will, will ask you about how much power uh, do you need and what is your module type you would like to use suppose I need uh, 280 module type okay let's stop here you can compare runs also suppose I will return back to uh, zero 
okay let's let's go here for another type kilowatts or okay for two yards okay for okay kilowatt or perimeter square okay your your selection area is around uh, five kilowatt hour per meter square your location okay and design uh 280 performance cost that's okay so the manufacturer will ask you about your uh, your results and what is your, the power you do need i need 200 uh, mega 200 kilowatts or 2 megawatts or 5 megawatts whatever and i need a module for uh, module type is 280 so this is our results you can by the know your area you can decide your answer because i you have a limited area suppose you have a limited area or something like this and you have to um, move within your limitations okay uh, finally i would like to thank you uh, for your uh, interesting in our uh, model um, it's quite interesting model based on uh, photovoltaic systems i uh, would like to thank you very much don't forget to uh, like uh, share and subscribe uh, thank you very much